support East African countries to effectively address development challenges and exploit the huge opportunities that we have in our region. This is the candid conversation we're going to have. And I am very confident that the fact that World Bank accepted that this was a necessary uh, exercise confirms to us that somebody somewhere is listening to what we are saying. You know? And our position is it is not going to be done until it is done. I have invited my fellow heads of state and government to participate in this highly important platform. Being confident of this assembly's capacity to facilitate transformative interven interventions, I urge you, honorable members, to join this course and formulate your, un your contributions to this endeavor with urgency. Give some imagination, put in it some ambition, so that together we can push an agenda that is going to support all our economies. I am highly obliged to you, Honorable Speaker, for inviting me to address this assembly. I do not take your consideration for granted, and I believe we're going to have a discourse that is going to be beneficial for all our countries. I wish you all, Honorable Members, productive engagements, insightful debates, and fruitful deliberations as you usher in the third session of this assembly. Feel at home while you are in Kenya. It's called Magical Kenya, the home of all humankind. And I urge Honorable Omar Hassan, Chair of the Kenyan Chapter of the Assembly, to use his, this session to introduce you to the warmth and hospitality of our country. Uh, and I urge you, Honorable Hassan, to make that only in places that are licensed. <laughs> and in no other places. So, Honorable Members, I really uh, wish you well while you are in Kenya. And maybe by conclusion, the speaker did make reference to um, what we are doing as East Africa. To, to give you the impression of what East Africa is doing, and, and therefore you must be very proud people that East Africa, in our continent, is the most progressive community. Our, our trade, intra-trade, between East African countries is the highest in the African continent. We are providing the leadership, and therefore, you occupy a very special place. And I want to urge you to continuously apply yourself to this huge responsibility. You are not only doing this for East African citizens. You are trailblazing for the continent of Africa. So continue with diligence but also a pace to make sure that you help us move the continent together. It is the reason, for example, why as members of, of the summit in East Africa, as you're all aware, the chair of the AU is coming up next year as the term of Musa Faki, our current chair, comes to an end. It is going to be the turn for East Africa to provide the chair of the African Union. We have sat down in the spirit of the East African community. We have consulted as heads of state from the East African community together, and we have agreed to sponsor one candidate as East Africans. As, as East Africans because that is the strength of our community, that we can do things together and we can consult among us one another. So it speaks to the spirit of the leadership that 
is being provided by our region. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you very much. May God bless you. May God bless Kenya. May God bless East Africa. And thank you very much for listening to me. Asante ni sana.